Into these reviews, <laughs> do you want me? To, I, I can just bang out Eileen pretty quickly if you want. You want to do that first? Okay. Yeah. Let me pull yeah. up the trailer. Yeah, it's not going to take long. Okay. Let me pull up the trailer for it. All right. Uh, Eileen is a 2023 psychological thriller directed by William Olroyd. It's based on the 2015 novel by Otessa Mosfe. She won a couple awards for it, um, if I recall correctly. Her it was a debut. Mo- uh, a novel. I think she won. Yeah, she won the Hemingway Foundation Pen Award and was shortlisted as a Booker Prize. Uh, it stars uh, Owen. It, it shows Thomason, Mackenzie, Shewinham, Marin Ireland, Owen Teagan, of course, Anne Hathaway. It's set in 1960s Massachusetts, and it tra- and uh, takes place in a uh, male juvenile penitentiary where. Uh, a new counselor shows in t- the town of a normally dreary life of Eileen, played, of course, by uh, the new counselor, played, of course, by Anne Hathaway. As mystery starts drawing, as the two become more uh, close, closer as time goes on, slowly uh, developing a friendship and uh, a little more than that as time goes on. But uh, not as all well as uh, the more they start to learn about each other, and the more their uh, secrets or desires start to come out. And... Uh, eventually it leads to a twist near the end of the movie that completely rocks their world and changes the uh, setting of this movie and its uh, themings. Uh, overall, I would say uh, I liked the cast of Thomas and McKenzie uh, as Eileen. I think she does a good job I, uh, for a uh, relatively a newer actress, honestly. Uh, first of all, very very gorgeous girl. Uh, if I were quickly, the the biggest um, movie I saw her from was from um, M Night Shyamalan's Old, and uh, Last oh. Night in Soho. Yeah, she was. She was also in Jojo Rabbit. Yes. She was on uh, Anne Hathaway is uh, very good as well. She ca- carries the charm of Anne Hathaway, and uh, she looks good in Blonde. Yeah. And there, uh, the chemistry between the two, and their uh, dynamic between them is really the highlight of the movie. Uh, I would say, uh, ah, shoot, is it Shay? Uh, Shay Wingham is in this movie as well as Jen Dunlop and uh, Marion Ireland, a really prominent uh, Irish actress is uh, in this movie as well and does a good job as a, uh, as a character later in the, uh, later in the movie. Honestly, for the most part, I enjoyed a lot of the concepts of the story in this movie. I enjoyed the uh, initial thriller aspect of it. But ultimately, this movie is let down by two things. Both the pacing, which is very slow and mostly kind of a bottle movie. Little moments of intrigue are dropped in here and there, but really don't quite go as far as you thought they would. And just when you think uh, the story is really going somewhere, a twist happens that you think will ratchet up the tension that comes kind of no out of nowhere and really changes what this movie kind of felt like it was going to be. And you think it would go somewhere. And unfortunately, uh, I have to say, it doesn't really go further than what you think it's going to go. You think uh, the twist around here would be the halfway mark where then the story would kind of really continue and you, you get a rising climax from there. But not long after the twist, the movie kind of ends on a strange note. Uh, after uh, watching the movie, I ended up looking at the uh, 2015 book to see if there was any differences between the book. But it's actually surprisingly faithful to the book adaptate to as a book adaptation. And a lot of my problems with the movie are actually directly linked with the book. I think the writing and the characterization and the time period are very well done for the most part, but. Ultimately, I'm I was struggling to figure out what this movie was trying to say and what it was trying to be about. Was it uh, an erotic thriller that had some aspects to it of more psychological variety? What was the point of their relationship, especially when you learn more about them later? 
what's the point of uh the the twist that happens feels kind of out of nowhere and escalates to a point that doesn't make quite a lot of sense which was previously done mostly done it felt like a lot of moments in this movie were done for shock value quick moments but ultimately when you really think about it you go well that doesn't make much sense that doesn't quite fit what we've been told before or it feels like something needed to happen in this movie so it happened and a lot of my issues with the movie also comes back to the book where i kind of felt that same way um ultimately i would kind of say that this movie is is a pretty uh simplistic movie i didn't really care for it if i'm going to be perfectly honest i thought the only salvageable part of it is the two main lead actresses who bring a pretty solid uh, chemistry between the two of them but it doesn't salvage an otherwise kind of forgettable movie if i'm going to be honest especially with the twist that later comes in the ending i i that went from a movie that i was originally thinking of giving th a round of like a maybe a a, a ran a, like a rental a low tune in maybe a rental straight down to a to kind of a skip it mm. that's a shame i was looking forward to this and uh, anne hathaway yeah i mean she's fine yeah yeah there's that um hmm. so a skip it for i like yeah uh, unfortunately it's kind of a skip it it doesn't Honestly, uh, looking through a lot of other reviews after I, I watched it, I was kind of surprised by the amount of hoopla around it. I just didn't see what a lot of the other people were were looking into, uh, especially when I, I looked in the source material and I was just like, yeah, I don't know why this won a bunch of rewards. Mm. It's all right. I think the direction is good and it's executed and it's a faithful adaptation. It just just wasn't my thing. Uh mm. So I, I I gotta give it a skip it. You might enjoy it, but I'm gonna be honest, Josh. I think you probably, if I had to guess now, you probably give it something like a rental. Mm. You might enjoy it a little bit more than me, but you probably get it probably no higher than a rental. Mm. Okay, all right. Uh so that was Dust's review for uh, Eileen.